How to Improve Your English Listening from EspressoEnglish.net If you have difficulty in listening to and understanding English, you're not alone. This is one of the most common problems for English learners. It's frustrating and embarrassing when you can't understand. But in this lesson, I'm going to explain why it's so difficult and teach you how to improve. Listening to English and successfully understanding it is difficult for three reasons. First, many English words are pronounced differently from their written form. We have words with silent letters like thought, island, and muscle. Also, many letters can be pronounced in different ways, like the letter A in apple, father, and game. So we have a ah, and a. So you might easily recognize words in writing, but then when you hear words with the same letters being pronounced differently, it's harder to recognize them. The second reason that listening is difficult is that when native English speakers talk fast, we link the words together. We often connect the words when speaking fast. We don't pronounce every individual word clearly. So the question, how are you feeling today, often sounds like, how are you feeling today? The sentence, I'm going to have lunch, sounds like, I'm going to have lunch. This linking and shortening of words happens in all spoken English sentences, and it's one big reason that it's so difficult to understand. The third reason that listening to English is difficult is because most English learners get too little practice. Most students read too much and don't listen to enough English. But remember that babies and young children learn English by listening first, listening for several years in fact, and then learning to read later. So English listening practice is essential if you want to become fluent in the language. Okay, now that you know why listening is difficult, here is how to improve it. There are two elements, practicing every day and practicing the right way. Tip number one is to practice every day. Create the habit of listening to English for at least 15 minutes daily, but ideally listen as much as possible. Even if you're busy and you don't have much time, you can listen to English while driving to work or school, while taking public transportation, while exercising, or while doing housework. Now, what should you listen to? Well, one option is to listen to the audio from my courses at Espresso English, especially my listening course. But if you're looking for some free options, check out VOA Special English for news. There's also the Deep English blog for interesting stories and lo.org for conversations. Tip number two is to practice listening the right way. What does this mean? Well, there is a right way and a wrong way to practice English listening. The wrong way to do English listening practice is this. You try to listen once, but you don't understand every word, and so you get frustrated and you give up and stop practicing after the first try. That's a very common experience, but it won't help you make progress. To do English listening practice the right way, the first step is to relax and to know that it's completely normal to have limited understanding the first time you listen. I recommend listening at least three times. Listen the first time for the general topics. Don't try to understand every word. Just try to understand the main ideas. Then listen again, and now try to understand some more specific details. Again, remembering that it's okay not to catch every word. Then listen the third time while reading the transcript, reading the text, and listening at the same time. Now you can pay attention to the individual words and see if your previous understanding was correct. This type of listening, from more general to more specific, is the most effective way to practice and improve your English listening skills. Your homework for today is to try it. Go to one of the websites I mentioned earlier. I'll include links in the description of this video. 
and listen to one audio three times. If you make a habit of English listening every day and you practice the right way, listening several times to the same audio and trying to go from a more general understanding to a more specific understanding, then your ability to understand spoken English will improve over time. You can also improve your listening skills faster by joining my listening course. It has 45 lessons with exercises that help you go from understanding the general idea to specific details and then to specific words. The audios in the listening course are available at both slow and fast speeds, so you can listen at whichever level feels most comfortable. Click on the link in the video or in the description for more information, free samples, and to sign up. Whether or not you choose to join my listening course, I hope this video has given you some practical tips for working on your listening and learning how to understand English better. Thanks for joining me today.